the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, members of the board, faculty, staff, family, friends, fellow graduates. It is an honor and privilege to be asked to speak on a day that I am one of the graduates and on behalf of the 2011 class. I enrolled at USIU for Gemba in August 2010, exactly three decades after I graduated with my first degree, a law degree from the University of Nairobi. I'm certain that my parents and friends never anticipated that 30 years on, I would still be at it. Following my first graduation, I've been in the civil service as a magistrate, I've practiced law, I've been in the NGO sector, an opposition parliamentarian, a minister of water, then justice, then back as an opposition parliamentarian, <laughs> a student, <laughs> and yes, really enjoying it. You can say I have gone full circle. In my class, the word diversity took on full meaning. We had a former child soldier from the newest state in Africa, a businessman from Ethiopia, a fellow politician and a member of government, a Ken uh, several Kenyan business executives from diverse sectors, one of them my daughter's age. <laughs> Our professors and staff were an equally diverse group. It was a diversity that we celebrated and grew from. We mingled and learned from each other and with each other. We gained each other's trust and bonded into a community which will go way beyond the course. This is the part of learning that is never in focus when we enroll for study. We more often than not focus on the academic skills we come to acquire. But we end up walking away with that and much more. Education today is a challenge for many when I went to the University of Nairobi, we were availed loans that covered our tuition, accommodation, and meals. Today's university students do not have the same facilities. They face many challenges. School fees are not the only challenge, but the learning infrastructure in most of our institutions is totally inadequate. With classes being too large to offer quality education, inadequate staffing, and many other challenges that undermine access and bequest for quality education. An institution like USIU with world-class facilities is a privilege. However, I strongly believe that the high standards of professionalism, which I have come to witness at USIU, and where gender equality is not just a topic, but a practice, should be the norm at all institutions seeking to educate our children and adults, and should indeed aspire to. I chose my course in strategic management because I would like to be a professional manager for a corporation that is so dear to me, my country, Kenya. I believe I have added invaluable lessons to the life lessons my journey has so far confirmed. This experience has reinforced my belief that learning is a lifelong process, that you learn through instructions and by interaction, and that if you are passionate about something, you should never tire nor neglect learning how you can better serve your passion. I believe my fellow graduates feel the same, that we are now well equipped to face the challenges of life, to compete in the job market, and all to create jobs and actually offer employment to others. Something that we need to urgently address in this country. Fellow graduates, we have some serious work ahead of us. 
but all is possible with confidence in ourselves, determination, resilience, hard work, discipline, and above all, believe in God. What will distinguish each one of us is how we apply the knowledge we have gathered, how we relate to those around us and the society we belong to. In my mind, there must be a clear distinction between someone with an education and others. Ethics, self-restraint, tolerance of opposing views, and of diversity, respect for the rule of law, in a nutshell, a demonstration of personal and social responsibility. These are obvious things which have ceased to be obvious in our society, which today yearns for transformation. Who else should champion that transformation if not us? We are each called to step up the plate for the world around us, for our families, for our organizations, for our society, and yes, for our country. As we say in our lingua, jitokeze. It is my sincere hope that we shall be standard bearers like our alma mater, USIU. We have a promising future, but it is a promise that we must protect and work to achieve. It is a promise that needs you and I to fully bear. The Gemba class of 2011 has started a seed fund to help deserving graduates of USIU Chandaria Business School who wish to venture into business. We invite all well wishers to join in this noble effort. Heartfelt thanks to our families, our friends, colleagues, professors, and staff for their support and encouragement throughout this journey. We wouldn't have made it without you all. Congratulations to the graduates of 2011. Congratulations, USIU. Congratulations to our families and our sponsors. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs>